You guys want to watch Tass? Uh, where is it? Right here. This is a ROM hack called Get Up, Get Out, Get Good. I did actually speed run this for a while. I did, I did really enjoy this. So also this is the resolution that was uploaded and given to me. So this is really all I get. But sometimes we like the little crusty ass, you know, qualities. So, all right, turn the volume up. Here's world one. I do remember this. Okay. Not bad. Looks like, ooh, yeah, cutting everything close. All right, it looks like a task. I bet Tompa, I bet Tompa already uh, has some issues here. Gunlong, Gunlong made this task. Gunlong, Gunlong made this task. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, but. Yo, we love the slide strats. One of the best things about this ROM hack is the levels aren't crazy long, but they, they do give the rewarding Kaizo feel to it. Like, I love that right there. That's that's so beautiful. Like, such a great level designer here. I don't know if the task needs to wait there. Uh, I don't know if Tompa's watched this task before. I'm not sure. Very cool. Dude, this is like a face with like a nose. Very cool. I like that. I like this task so far. This task is actually pretty good. All right, so the fortress open the lock. Apparently going this way is faster. Whoa, that was close. Yo, the NES struggling to load the platforms. I love it. Nice. Yeah, we've seen that trick many times in, in Tacids and Kaizos. Very cool. Some of you have actually already beat this game. Very cool, very cool. Nice. Yo, the clip there, mushroom skip. No need for any mushrooms. Nice, yeah. I remember this. I remember, I, I I think I almost beat this whole game without dying or something. That'd be a really good speed run. All right, we're at the first airship. Ah, I remember this one. Those are custom blocks right there. Like the death blocks from like Super Mario World. I like Mario 3 hacks that have that. Yeah, you can see the custom floor. Very nice. Does he get off screen one grab? Oh, he gets left side off screen one grab. Okay, so there's a lot of you asking right now. Oh my God, Mitch, can you do the off screen one grab on the left side? Not in a normal game. No, you cannot. In, in this ROM hack, there was an additional wall there that allowed him to wall jump and stand on top of. So in a normal Mario 3 game, no, you cannot. This level, I think is one of my favorites. It's just like super chill. It's like, got all like the, the wind turbines or like the currents or stuff like that. I'm pretty sure this is like an any percent or like an any percent warpless task. Oh, getting a little hill going. Nice. Normally the currents are used in like water stages in this, not normally this, but I mean, either way, it's still pretty cool. Yo, watch out for the quicksand. Nice. I think there's a Kaizo there actually. I remember you need the shell for the end. Yo, beanstalk skip? Is that what we call it, beanstalk skip? Nice, nice patooey. Gonna get that P speed. That level's so short. I don't remember that level being so short. So in this game, you can move after grabbing the orb from the boom boom. In the original game, you cannot. You cannot move after grabbing the orb. So that actually got me a couple times. Oh, this level's actually really good too. Oh my God, he's, dude, he's tripping me out, man. All of his dicking around is like throwing me off. I keep thinking he's gonna die. I'm not watching a let's play, I'm watching a task, so I know he's not gonna die. Very nice. Path of least resistance in time. I hate that jump so much. That's such a trolley jump. So far, the task hasn't done anything, um, anything crazy out of the ordinary. I mean, he's done, he's beat the levels pretty vanilla-y. Hammer Brother not moving. Nice, optimal chest grab. I don't think this game has items in the Hammer Brothers. 
Oh, he did that de Oh my god, that death. Yo, the Beatles! I love them! Dude, I really like this. What? Hold on. What was that? He did like a wall jump right here? Oh my god, that's crazy. The like wall jump block grab? Nice. I love all the quality of life features in this hack, like quick cutscenes, quick text, all of it going fast. All right. A mushroom house and a tass? Bit off, oh, that makes sense. Right to world four. Right away. Warp whistle just skips the world three. That's pretty cool. Yep, you have to keep this shell for a wall jump there, or shell jump, I guess. Was that? I guess that piece speed's necessary. I feel like the levels are kind of too short for, like, you to go crazy and pop off here. I like underground levels when they're done really well. That was good. Where's the midair shell jump in this one? Oh my god, that was so tight. Jesus. No, no, I already said this wasn't a 100% run. I don't understand the, the point of that design in the end level. Okay, we got the fortress. Oh yeah, I remember this, the back and forth. There's no clip there, huh? Very, very good uh, boom boom battles. Oh my god, you're stressing me out, man. You're stressing me out. Nice. Nice, dude. Like, doing that fast. Yeah, you need the mushroom for that end part there, yeah. This hack is so, like, comfy, man. It's so comfy with its levels. Like, you look at that and you're like, that's not so bad, but it will take you a solid, you know, five, ten minutes to beat that level. It'll take you a while. I hate his Hammer Brother battles though, I will say that. I do not like the Hammer Brother battles. Okay. Fantastic placements. Cutting all those corners and edges so like lightly. The green piranha plants, what's wrong with them? Yo, this fortress is sick, look at it. Nice try, Chungus bro. No off-screen wand grab, I guess. Oh, maybe you can't stand at the top because of the wall. Look at all these levels, man, just condensed. Oh yeah, this auto-scroller. Yep. What? The, the... <laughs> that shimmying up the vine. You have to use him to go up there. Nice. I remember that. If you go early, it's like, it's free. It's a free jump. I remember having to practice that. For anyone wondering, this game is get up, get out, get good. It's a Mario 3 ROM hack. It's kind of Kaizo, but kind of small Kaizo. It's not crazy Kaizo. It's, it's like fun Kaizo. This is like one of my favorite Mario 3 hacks. Oh, the sequence break? There's a little sequence break there. I like it. I like it. If you're interested in finding Mario 3 ROM hacks, just go to Google and type romhacking.net and then use their database essentially to search Mario 3 stuff. My ROM hacks are on there. If you're going to play one of my ROM hacks, I would uh, highly consider you only play um, Mini Kaizo Bros 3. It's tough, but it's a good hack. That was a good level. That's another one of my favorite levels. I wonder what path he goes up. Okay. <laughs> I actually knew you could do that, but I never thought about doing that. That's so silly. See what I mean? These levels are, are very short. These levels are very short. 
Nice, we got the rest of World 5 here. Yeah, I actually did this um, during a... Uh, Grand Pooper speedrun session. I keep forgetting to submit this to GDQ. I keep forgetting. Nice, good orb grab. Yeah, in the original, like I said, the original, when you grab an orb, you can't move. You're locked in, but not in this. I always, like, I asked the creator, I was like, what the heck is behind that lock? Oh, this level's amazing. It's one of my favorites. Oh my god, barely made that. How, how the Tasser's doing this is pretty close to how this level is done. Wow, that was cool. I would not dare to try that in my speedrun, thank you very much. Not saving that much time. Very, very cool concept for this ship. The Tass is making this look like these levels are super short, and although they kind of are... Yeah, you can just get off-screen wand. Off-screen wand grab doesn't even matter in this hack, I just realized. It saves, like, literally no time. Very cool. World 6. Nice. No fire flower, huh? That's right, the flying. Interesting. I wonder why I never did that in my speedruns. Still no fire. Ah, that's why the sneaks. That's pretty sneaky. Right under there, that was pretty sneaky. All right, level four. how high you go off of these beetles? It's crazy. Yo, that 100 points in the top left? Like, what? Why is it there? Hold on, you can see it. Let me let the text go away. Top left. Look at the top left. What? All right, I guess I'll get a thousand points. Yeah, I remember getting P-Speed there and it was like the scariest thing in my life. Oh! That was so cool, like the, the pipe clip stuff. I'm supp- uh, I guess you gotta do the hammer, brother. That makes sense. Oh my god, look at that jump! Right here, look at this. What? Crazy, that's crazy. I don't think I would ever do that in my speedrun. Get wrecked, Wendy. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Nice, World 7 is really sick. World 7 is the hardest world, I think. Yo, there's your buddy Goomba Shoe. I want everyone to write in the comments the actual name of the Goomba Shoe. It's like a quiz. Do you guys know the actual name of the Goomba Shoe? No searching Google, no cheating. No cheating. Yes, Dave the Shoe. Yo, this level sucks, right? I think. Does it? Ah. Uh, yeah, it's that re of that shell. It's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, this level's. Yeah. I'm surprised the task can't get past that. Alright. So is this the actual any percent run? Because he used the warp whistle, so it's not any percent warpless. I guess this is the... The best you can do. Aww. Uh, didn't get to use the hammer super long. That level is a lot harder than the task makes it seem. 
Level six is faster, huh? Oh, I, I think this has the midair. Yeah. Okay, I do this in my speedruns too. Yeah, midair. He re the creator rewards you. Rewards you with a midair. I really like it. I think that, that was a clever thing to do. Nice. Good use of the little, uh... Oh, yeah, the triple thwomp. Is this, uh, Von Koopa? That one- I don't even think that was a full-on off-screen wand grab. There's some frames to be saved there. Dude, look at this World 8 gauntlet. World 8 is a beast. Go to the third one? Oh yeah, no. No scraping by. That level's kind of easy for a World 8 level, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, level 3. This level is actually really tough, I remember. Nice. What? Did he like bounce on the, the shell there? Very nice. The levels with the no ends are so funny. Beanstalk away! Just clips right through. No regard, okay? No regard for the blocks. Okay, how dare you? First time I did this fortress, again, you always forget that you're not locked in by the orb. Always. You always forget. What's this? This is... Right, right, Tanuki, yeah, and then I think maybe Frog Suits after it. This level's really cool, I like this level. Nice. Good little time save there. What? I didn't know you could jump off munchers. You can do a one frame jump off of munchers with the statue, I didn't know that. That, I didn't know. I just learned something. I just learned something. Let's go. I play on the virgin... The virgin. I play on the version that cheeses this. Very cool. I love the swim at the end. The swim at the end is very fun. Yeah, so everyone have a good laugh. The virgin. He said the virgin. All right, Bowser. I don't think this level is too crazy. I wonder why he wanted to keep his Tanuki so bad. I'm gonna, I feel like no reason at all. Because he doesn't want to turn into a statue. If he turns into a statue, it wastes time, right? Get wrecked, Bowser. Boom! Done! Very nice. What did, uh, what did you guys all think about that? Did you guys enjoy that one? That game is a lot, a lot of fun. If you have not played Get Up, Get Out, Get Good, you should definitely play it. I wouldn't say it's an introduction to Kaizo. It is still tough, but if you like a nice challenge, something to take your time, and not, like, super long, annoying levels without, like, checkpoints, then I highly recommend you give this, this one a try. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really enjoyed my content, do not forget to subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. Thank you all for watching.